when I needed to jumpstart sales. Build attendance for an event. Help people find their way. Fast Signs designed new directional signage. And got them back on track. Get started. Welcome to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton. This week's show, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to trade in my host hat for my teacher's hat. And although my wife, who is a retired teacher, may not think I'm real good at it, I'm going to do the best I can. And I want to teach you, my audience, who are mostly baby boomers who want to live better longer, about Medicare. And so I've asked my producer to help me by inserting some graphics at different points in time to help improve your education. So, Mr. Producer, would you start off with the first exhibit, what is Medicare? So, I call this the A, B, C's, and D's of Medicare. Part A, think of it as hospital insurance. Part B, think of it as medical insurance, or where you would have coverage for providers. And Part C, is a Medicare Advantage plan which replaces Parts A and B and Part D is prescription drug coverage. Part C typically comes with some prescription drug coverage included. So most people when they're turning 65 receive a letter from the government that includes a Medicare card and they are informed that they are going to automatically be enrolled in Medicare Part A and that they need to decide whether they're going to enroll in Medicare Part B or not. And so let's take a look at the next slide. The Medicare initial enrollment period. So when I turned 65 back in April, I already had my Medicare card. I had received it about a year ago last fall. And I was told that I had three months before my 65th birthday and three months after my 65th birthday to enroll in Medicare Part B, which is the provider coverage. Part A has no premium associated with it, again, so you are automatically enrolled, but Part B does have a premium, and the standard premium is about $134 a month. It's expected to remain at that level in 2019. High income beneficiaries, however, defined as individuals with income of more than 85,000, and married couples with joint income of more than 170,000 pay more for Medicare Part B. So those enroll in Medi uh, Medicare uh, Part D prescription drug plans, which they involve a monthly premium as well as a surcharge for high income beneficiaries, but the base premium for 2019 is projected to be around $32.50 per month. So the next slide, Mr. Producer. This is what the new Medicare card looks like. They decided to finally, after many years, to replace your social security number with a unique identifier that would help protect against identity theft. And so if you have a Medicare card and it has a social security number on it, you want to make sure that you have this card with the new identifier or that you contact social, uh, uh, Medicare and make sure you get one. Next slide, sir. So, Medicare and You is a handbook which is published by the government and it's distributed to all Medicare beneficiaries every year around this time. And it's quite a rather lengthy book and it tells you everything you could possibly need to know about Medicare. But on page five, which you can see here, it compares original Medicare and Medicare Advantage. And so if you have your Medicare and you book already, I would ask you to turn to page five when you're thinking about whether you would like to have traditional Medicare plus a supplement and a plan D, or whether you would like to opt for a Medicare Advantage plan or plan C. Now, why is this important now? Well, because we have what's called Medicare open enrollment coming up. May I have the next slide, Mr. Producer?
Ah, this is Medicare supplements. And so Medicare supplements are sold by a number of insurance companies and they supplement parts A and part B. Parts A and part B have deductibles and coinsurance and typically uh, will only cover about 80% of your actual healthcare costs. And I subscribe to a website that enables me to compare based on zip code and state every available Medicare supplement plan based on their letters. Plan F is probably the most popular but it's being replaced by Plan G more and more because it provides the supplemental coverage at a lower cost. Thank you, Mr. Producer. So when you're buying a supplement, essentially what you have the opportunity to do is to get a third party, again, another insurance company, to eliminate the 20% out of pocket that you would normally have if you just had parts A and B. And so a Medicare supplement again, sold by approximately 30 different insurance companies in any state, uh, when you go with a plan F, all you have is the premium for the supplement and no further out-of-pocket costs. But the government's doing away with plan F in 2020, so plan G will become the plan that provides the most protection against out-of-pocket costs. Really, it covers every dollar except for your annual Medicare Part B deductible, which is currently $187. And so once you incur and pay that deductible, then 100% of your health care costs are covered by A, B, and the supplement. Plan D, which is prescription drug coverage, is provided by approximately 30 different insurance companies. And you can go to Medicare.gov and they have a calculator where you can enter in all of your prescription drug information, the name of the drug, the dosage, and where you normally buy your prescriptions from, and it will provide you with the top three lowest cost Plan D plans that would enable you to get all of the prescriptions that you normally take uh, from that particular insurance company. Plan Ds typically cost, again, about $32.50 a month, and they can go up from there, particularly if you are a uh, high-income beneficiary, as I mentioned before. We're going to take a break now for a word from our sponsors, and I'll be back in a moment to talk more about Medicare and open enrollment and what it may mean for you. This is Bill Borton. Independent living for seniors age 62 and over, People Inc. offers safe, maintenance-free apartments across Western New York. The affordable rent is income-based. For more information, call People Inc. Senior Living at 817-9090. In a world where bankers have lost all interest, where robots and fat cats rule our fortunes, one woman Hi. will stand up and strive to do the impossible. Be treated like a person. Friends and neighbors will join her quest. Ordinary people will band together against the forces of corporate greed. And together, they will form Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, already in a neighborhood near you. Assurance. It's a word, a touch, a look that sparks a feeling. Peace of mind that everything will be all right. These are the moments that inspire us to do more than you'd ever expect from a car insurance company at a price that's less than you'd expect. This is more than just insurance. This is Plymouth Rock Assurance. Visit us at PlymouthRock.com.
my name is Casey Price, host of a brand new show called Everyday Elder Care. My show will help you take the stress out of caring for your elderly loved one by educating you about options and solutions you may not even know exist. Tune in every Tuesday at noon on RVN TV. We'll see you there. Imagine the finest hand-selected USDA prime steak you'll ever have. The freshest line-caught seafood. Our Wine Spectator award-winning wine list and soul-satisfying desserts. Bring that together with the perfect date. The winning business deal. A memorable family celebration. Welcome to Rod Steak and Seafood Grill in nearby Morristown, New Jersey. Bring your appetite and feed your passion. Welcome back to Live Better Longer. I'm your host, Bill Borton. Before the break, I was teaching my audience about Medicare and when you enroll and the basics of plans A, B, C, and D. The reason why you're seeing this show at this particular time, however, is because open enrollment for Medicare, which is very confusing for a lot of people, begins on October 15th. Mr. Producer, would you please bring up the next slide? You may change or enroll in different Medicare plans between October 15th and December 7th for 2019. Once December 8th arrives, however, the enrollment period closes until the following October. So during this time, however, Medicare users can switch coverage or add or drop parts of their plan. Thank you. So open enrollment is not for those who have never signed up for Medicare, unless the open enrollment period just happens to fall during your initial enrollment time which I talked about before the break, which is three months or three months, three months before or three months after your 65th birthday. So what are your open enrollment options? Well, again, you have a number of different choices. If you currently have parts A and B, you can switch to a Medicare Part C, also known as a Medicare Advantage plan which is often contracted by outside insurance companies that have an agreement with Medicare. Some examples would be Blue Cross Blue Shield, Aetna, United Healthcare, Humana, companies like that. And essentially, you find that you are now being serviced by that insurance company and you're no longer dealing with Medicare directly. So Part C replaces traditional Medicare. Part C has a number of features that cause it to be a little bit less expensive than a Medicare supplement, but those features also require you to jump through more hoops and may have some restrictions such as provider networks that you have to remain within in order to have the plan benefits be paid per the schedule of co-pays and deductibles. So, Plan C's, Medicare Advantage plans, typically come with a Plan D built in, but it's not the Plan D of your choice, so sometimes you may find that the drugs that are covered under the formulary in the Plan C are not necessarily the drugs that you have on your list, and therefore you may find that your out-of-pocket costs for prescriptions are higher than if you had a Medicare supplement or Medigap policy and you were able to select your own Plan D prescription drug plan. So, if you have Medicare Part C, you can switch back to original Medicare Parts A and B during open enrollment. However, you may then need a supplement, and supplements are only available without any evidence of insurability or health questions when you first become eligible for Plan B. So unless you enroll in a supplement initially, if you have had any changes in your health, 
you may not be able to enroll in a supplement during open enrollment should you decide that you no longer want to be in a Plan C Advantage plan. Another benefit of switching back to A and B, if you can qualify for a supplement or Medicap policy, is that you can select your own prescription drug plan or Plan D. And you may recall that there is a drug plan finder on Medicare.gov where you can enter in all of your prescription drug information and it will provide you with three of the lowest cost prescription drug plans or Plan Ds that you may select from. Plan Ds are always part of open enrollment uh, during the October to December window. But again, if you have an Advantage plan, Plan D is baked in. Some of the other benefits that people who enroll in Medicare Advantage plans may receive are some limited coverage for dental benefits and for vision benefits, which are not covered at all under traditional Medicare. Under the new rules passed by Congress for 2019, Plan C Advantage plans may cover some of the costs associated with long-term care, although it's too early to tell whether that will be the case. People tend to like Medicare Advantage plans because, again, the lower cost. If you select an HMO-related plan, you may have to get referrals to see specialists from a primary care physician, but you may end up having a very low Medicare Advantage premium or possibly no premium at all. Medicare Advantage plans also come in the flavor of a PPO, which has, tends to have a broader provider network and never requires referrals to see specialists. The problems with some of these Medicare Advantage plans is if you're a snowbird, for instance, the provider network, which may be perfectly good in your home area, such as the Philadelphia area, may be inadequate down in Tampa or in Fort Lauderdale. So something you need to be very mindful of when you're making these choices. So, uh, open enrollment, if you want to get an Advantage plan, you can purchase it directly from the insurance company online, or you can work with an agent and broker who has been certified by all of the insurance companies to represent their Advantage plan. This is a somewhat convoluted process. There has to be an interview first by a representative from the insurance company once you've initially been in touch with the agent or broker and then you're handed back over to the agent or broker once the due diligence has been done by the insurance company to make sure you understand exactly what it is that you may be getting into. With supplements, the opportunity to purchase that additional coverage that could cover up to 100% of your out-of-pocket costs for Medicare A and B uh, again, you need to provide evidence of insurability and you need to be healthy enough to qualify if you no longer want to be in an Advantage plan during open enrollment. And a supplement and a Plan D can provide the most comprehensive coverage, no provider networks whatsoever, doesn't matter what state you're receiving care in, and you can decide what carrier you want to use for your drugs. However, you may end up with a higher premium for the Medigap policy and the Plan D than you would with the Plan C Advantage plan. So, at this point, uh, I would like to uh, ask for the next slide, Mr. Producer. The Medicare.gov website has all the answers in addition to the Medicare and You Handbook. Between the two, there really isn't anything you could need to know. The Medicare.gov website even has a way of comparing all of the Medicare Advantage plans in your area. And so you can literally put in your zip code and it will tell you what the uh, Medicare Advantage plans are, which ones are available to you, uh, what they cover, what additional benefits are available, and what the premiums are for the HMO and PPO versions of the Medicare Advantage plan. So keep in mind, when you do buy a Medicare Advantage plan, you still are required to pay your Medicare Part B premium. There is no premium, as you recall, for Medicare A. And so with a Medicare Advantage plan, you're paying your Part B premium, you're paying your Advantage premium, 
and the Advantage plan covers, again, your prescriptions or Plan D, and may cover some limited dental or vision benefits. When you are using a supplement, you pick your own Plan D, you can pick your own supplement, and you can really, truly uh, eliminate all out-of-pocket costs by paying premiums for your Part B, your supplement or Medigap policy, and your Medicare Part D prescription drug plan. So, at this point, I would say that if you have questions, and you may very well have them, that I would ask you to reach out to me. You can reach me through wrborton.com, my website, where there's a contact form, or you can email me at bill at wrborton.com. And either way, I'd be happy to help you uh, determine which type of approach to Medicare is best suited to your needs. And if you have more specific questions that are uh, related to any particular product or insurance company, I can certainly help you with that as well. So just remember, Medicare Open Enrollment is coming up very soon, uh, next week actually, and it starts on October 15th, ends on December 7th, and this is for the January 1 to December 31, 2019 year. So just also remember that open enrollment has nothing to do with your initial eligibility. So if you're turning 65 and it just so happens that it coincides with the open enrollment period, understand that they are not one and the same. Only one time in your life are you eligible to enroll for Medicare uh, initially. So one more thing to share with you, which I uh, omitted earlier in my lesson, and that is if you are still covered under an employer-sponsored health plan through your company and you and or your spouse are covered, you need not enroll in Medicare Part B until you lose that coverage. So if you stop working at say age 67 or 70, for instance, and at that point you lose the employer-sponsored coverage, you have the same three months before and three months after to enroll in Part B with no penalty, in Part D the prescription drug plan with no penalty, and you can also enroll in a Medicare supplement or Medigap policy of your choice, again with no medical questions, no evidence of insurability. And so Many people, boomers in particular, obviously, are choosing to work longer so that they don't have to live as many years on their invested assets in Social Security. And so by delaying stopping working, many times they're able to stay on their employer plan uh, well beyond age 65. Uh, one more thing that you may be interested in is until you start collecting Social Security, the Medicare folks bill you quarterly directly and you can set it up to pay them through your bank account automatically. Uh, if you are collecting Social Security and you become Medicare eligible and enroll, they will collect the Part B premiums and the Part, D, uh, Part B premiums uh, directly out of your Social Security. They will deduct it from your Social Security benefits and the Part D you can pay directly to the insurance company Again, you can enroll through the government website uh, directly, and that is quite easy to do, and you just do that once a year. So, again, contact me, Bill Borton, at W.R. Borton & Associates uh, through my website, wrborton.com, if you have any questions or would like any assistance, or you can email me at bill at wrborton.com. I want to thank you for your time and attention. I hope this has been helpful and I wish you well with your uh, journey through Medicare A, B, C, and D. Uh, I will see you again next Tuesday at 11 for more Live Better Longer when I will return to the regular format and I will have a guest that I'll be interviewing for your information and entertainment. Thank you and I'll see you next week on RVN TV. Bill Borton here, Live Better Longer.
www.thepeopleshow.com. I'm Casey Price, host of a brand new show on